how uh, Goof does against Nam here. Or how Nam does against Goof. Honestly, I think that Goof has a... Uh, I think he's lost the last... Yeah, I think she's... I think she's lost the last set, maybe two. But overall, in the last uh, few months, Goof has beaten Nam a, a lot. Yeah, I mean, she's definitely been a consistent bracket demon for Nam yeah. until last week. So it'll be interesting to see if Nam's able to carry over what he learned last week against her into this week. Did Nam win last week? I think it was either last week or the week before. The last set at the very I least. I commentated Nam versus Goof last week. I can't remember who won. I'm almost positive it was Nam. Yeah. Blue I'm sure the barrel. chat's uh, criticizing us for not having perfect memory. I'm checking. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I, I doubt any they, they would remember. Unless it's like Absalom or something. <laughs> I mean, I mean, they have the internet at his fingertips. Yeah. But right now, Nam doing everything he can to keep Nam or Goof off stage here. And honestly, I feel like that's one of the things you want to try and do against Sonic because if you let Sonic have the ground, his mobility just skyrockets. But if you keep Sonic in the air, his air mobility feels like it's roughly half of his ground speed. It, it's very rare that you're going to see a Sonic approach with an aerial or try and win neutral with an aerial. Exactly. That almost never happens. Yeah, I mean, right there, you just see Goof using her movement to just run in, turn around for a split second just to throw Nam's timing off there and get in. And just this special movement with the uh, side B and down B definitely. But Goof has incredible, uh, incredible control over yeah. Sonic. And that's definitely one of those things you, you have to put the time in for. It's not one of those things you can just pick up Sonic and think, oh, hey, I'm just going to side B all around the stage, do all this amazing movement attack. No, yeah, yeah. you actually have to practice it. It's very easy to tell the difference between Goof and a... Me. And a fresh <laughs> Sonic. Yeah, yeah, one of those one of those new kids. Yeah. Ooh, hitting the spike with that down air hitbox. Not something you see too often. No. Nam goes for it more than a lot of Sheiks. Yeah. Honestly, Nam uses a lot of the tools that... Other Sheiks don't, I feel. I think that Nam just, he uses all the tools. Yeah. And, and so that's, that's one of the reasons he's so good. Yeah. Um, Almost got the tip of there. Nam has just recently started to make himself fairly well known outside of Michigan. <laughs> oh, that vanish. Kills him with the vanish. Was that a re-grab or No, that Goof was just drop invincibility. Invincibility ran out at the wrong time for Goof. Yeah. So now she's got to play from a deficit here. Which is good for Nam. The only way to beat Goof is to take the first dog. Yeah. Yeah, because if she gets the lead, it's so obnoxious to try and bring it's, that back. Oh, my gosh. It is the worst. Yeah. Worst person I've ever played to lose this first stock against. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nam, with his great ledge pressure here, oh, had the yeah, read, he on read the roll. He read the roll. Yeah. Yeah. That smash not coming out quick enough though, but right now Goof doing what she can to try and steal the stock off finally, but Nam with great evasiveness. Trade. At this point, even though Sheik's attacks don't do much damage, uh, but trading is good. Trading is good for Nam in this yeah, I mean, situation. You can only keep the stock so long as Sheik, let's be honest here. But if you can keep that stock long enough to get your opponent up to about halfway to those mix-up kill percents, that's a good job done. That's a good job done. Yeah. <laughs> You're done. Oh, I don't approve of that. I have to. I have to <laughs> go on record and say that that was that was all Scooter with the get her done <laughs> reference just now. <laughs> hey, we don't discriminate against comedy. Who's we? You and some group of people that doesn't include me. I'm very picky <laughs> when it comes to comedy. Uh, All right, so he finally took the stock. Uh, Goof's sitting at 75%. Yeah. Not terrible to difference between Sonic and Sheik. Sheik has to get you up to high percent to kill. Obviously, everybody knows that. And Sonic happens to have an incredible damage output uh, yeah. as long as Sonic can manage to land the spins, yeah. spin attacks. But I mean, as long as Goof can get her hit and run tactics working again, she should be able to bring it back. But right now, Nam has been doing a good job of just Stuffing out half of Goof's Ooh. approaches with those needles. I love that. Goof does that a lot where he just uh, which up upbeats past the ledge and just yeah. hits you instead of grabbing it. Ooh. Goof's very, very good at that. And it's hard to catch on to because she doesn't do it every time. She just yeah. mi she mixes it up a lot. Yep. She just seems to know when you're not going to be ready for it. Yeah, and right now. She comes to 62, getting, yeah. getting kind of scary for Nam. 
Yeah, so Nam's definitely got to find a way to take off the stock sooner rather than later because Goof yeah. could definitely take this game off of him. And I think we're approaching the point where if Nam grabs Goof, Goof can pretty comfortably just jump out of it and it doesn't really have to worry about 50-50. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, with that rage, it definitely could accelerate the window past Nam's opportunity. Oh, Goof goes for a forward smash. I mean, hey, sometimes the most unexpected option is the best option. Yeah, it's just funny because Goof is, like, the safest player, like, ever. Ooh. Great tech and DI there from Nam just to get out of that so quickly. Yep. Just barely missed spacing the air dodge read there. Oh, Very great nice. air dodge read, yeah. So Nam did... Seal it up, but Goof was making a making a very good comeback up until that point. Yeah, and I mean, once Nam starts following you off stage, it just ramps up the pressure so much because it feels like with Nam, Sheik loses the fastball property when Sheik goes off stage for some reason. Because it just feels like forever that he's just following you down there. Yeah. So what Smash you? Field 122 is when Nam 3 out. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah, I said last week a few times that Nam's, I think his strongest area, and he's good at, there's not, he doesn't really have a particularly weak area, but his strongest area has got to be his edge guarding. Oh, definitely. His edge guarding is out of this world. Yep, and right now he's doing everything he can to keep her off stage right here. Uh, if you watch his last, his stream set before this against Casper's Ryu. Yeah, sad days. Yeah, the, I, the I bouncy fish edge guards were were sad to watch. I had to I had to lose a few sets in a row that way before I realized how important it is n to never jump off stage against Nam. Yeah. And I mean, Nam right now is just doing a great job of just controlling this ground. Yeah, here. you know you know what Nam did just now that I thought was really good yeah. was Nam did a very good job realizing when to stop the combo. You know what I mean? Like he knew right. as soon he recognized immediately when he could no longer if he were to like if he to keep pushing it further than this. Yep. Like Goof tried to fair him to punish Nam overextending and Nam did not overextend. And yeah. I would have extended so <laughs> far right there, you better yeah. believe I would have went all <laughs> Yeah, so it feels like Nam's game plan is mostly just don't worry about the percentage, worry about just keeping the neutral control. Yeah. And honestly, it's been working out pretty well, I'd say. Yeah, I think um, after Nam had lost to Goof a few times, Nam thought long and hard about. He's done this with a few matchups. Yep. There's been a couple matchups in, in the past that have gotten hard for him, and he's good at uh, yep. figuring, figuring those out. Yep. He figured out Ryu, he figured out Sonic. Yeah. Um, in the process of figuring out Lowe's Diddy Kong. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be an ever-evolving process there. Yeah. Ooh, wow, great wow. Dodge roll read. So much damage if you manage to get both hits of up air after the side beat. Wow, Nam went to Nam chased him all the way over there. Bounce fish from halfway up across the stage. I feel like rolling backwards against Sonic is one of the worst options you can do. Uh, the worst thing you do over against Sonic, the... Are any new-ish players out there, the the way to lose really quickly against a decent Sonic is to try and land with any aerial at all in neutral. Yeah. Jump at them with a new with an aerial in neutral, and they will punish you with side B every time. You got to empty hop. Yeah. Exactly. Ooh. Almost got him with that, but the vanish just gonna curve around the corner there. <laughs> yeah. Not got hit by the spring, but she can get back just about anywhere as long as it doesn't tap the stage from yeah. the knockback. But right now, both of these players putting on a good can't kill showcase, but finally getting the back air there. Yeah, got the kill yeah. before we actually officially reached the halfway point. Yep. And right now, now I'm looking to return the favor here. Bouncing Fish not going to be able to close out the stock here. This, ah, if you lose the first stock against Goof, I'm telling you, it is impossible. Yeah, because you start getting nervous and you start trying to force yourself off of that game plan for a moment there just to get that stock off. And yeah, and up. any as soon as you, like, <laughs> I hate to repeat myself, but you overextend against Goof and you're just going to get plowed, man. You I, can't do it. I mean, hey, you can repeat the truth however many times you want. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I mean, right now, I'm just trying to regain control Great of stage here. Great conversion. I love that up to it. It's just one of those nice, quick options that you can easily combo once you hit their shield. Yeah. Ooh, the, <laughs> the needle reverse. You see that? Yeah. I mean, anytime you can mix up your movement options. Very nice. 
Oh, trying to get the two frame there with the down tilt. Not going to get it, but still going to maintain stage control. Yeah. Snob made the comeback that most of us never can. Yeah. And so now it's just a matter of if he can uh, take the stock. It took him almost a 200% to do it in the first stock. Yep. So he's still got a long way to go if he's going to try and do that again. But yeah. Right now, Goof. Oh, ooh, wow. Man, just lose that stage control oh, for one moment, and that's what goodness. happens. Jeez. All right, so not making a liar out of me as far as taking the first stock goes. Yeah. Man, I mean, once Nam was able to get back that stage control, he made it pay off. I think it really...